help you? Uh... I've got a few questions for you, Bailiff, if you don't mind. Have you been having some trouble around here? And what business is it of yours? Did someone complain? All right, dickhead. Who sent you here? No one complained. Little no sus. I'm to know why you think they might. It was Lord Radzig who sent me. He'd heard word that some unsavory characters are holed up round here. Begging your pardon? But what the devil does Sir Radzig care about it? And I keep hearing the same from Sir Sebastian. And he's got no dog in this fight either. Hmm. You have an inn and the horse trails cross here. There must be many travellers come seeking work and not all of them honest men. Aye, it's true. Bedlam has broken out once or twice and restoring order was no easy matter. Has there been anything like that lately? No. It's been quiet here lately. But now that I think about it, I don't recall coming across anyone here like that. Nobody looking for soldiering work, maybe as a merchant's guard? There's always one or two like that. But if they don't get the job, they move on. I heard some recruiters are meeting in Sassau. Seemed likely they'd get up to mischief and people might complain. Do you think that people here complain and I don't do my job? Nothing of the sort. Old Lederman's the Man, you're awfully confrontational. Kind of dick. no heed to him. And what does this Lederman complain about? Lederman is our local tanner. Lives by the quarry, which is where... Well, some youngsters go there to wrestle. They go there to fight and that doesn't bother you? Why would it bother me? Much better to brawl there than in the tavern. At least in the quarry they can't damage anything but each other. And my catchpoles go by there from time to time to keep an eye on things. Alright. Thank you, Bailiff. Yeah, I'm good. I don't want to talk to this guy. God save you. And you, sir? Tanner, I've heard all's not well with you. It's better now. I must have eaten something bad. No, I mean you've complained about some ruffians raising hell behind your house. Aye, true enough. That lot's been a thorn in my side. And when I went to tell them to take it elsewhere, they nearly beat me to a pulp. Mm -hmm. And nobody does the thing about it. I've been to the bailiff, but he couldn't give a rat's arse. There's no commotion under his window, so what does he care? That's quite a bailiff you've got. A scarecrow would keep better order. What? But what? You just talk some mad shit, dude. How many of them are there? How would I know? They make as much noise as a herd of wild boar in rutting season. And did they all attack you? Aye. They knocked the stuffing right out of me. When are they there? Nearly every evening. Every godforsaken evening. Shouting and bellowing there till nightfall. And then they leave. Probably to get drunk. If you want, I'll take care of them. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but oh, moving there are mountains? several of them and just one of you. Perhaps we'll be able to settle things peacefully. Maybe. They might think twice before kicking your arse. Perhaps I can reason with them. It doesn't have to come to blows. Well, break a leg, lad. Or better yet, don't. But if you manage to pull it off, you'll get your reward. Reward? Say no more. All right, so maybe not. Oh, here they are. I remember when I was a young whippersnapper. His name's Weed, Lanky, Stump, Betwixt, and Punch. Okay. Talk to the old Weed then. I'll save you, good night. What can I do for you? I heard you gave him quite a beating. It's his own damn fault. Really? He just came to tell you to go elsewhere. That's what he told you? Bollocks! He came of his own accord. It was him started the fuss. After oh, the he'd lost all his money. He really tried to have a go. I wouldn't think he'd have it in him. 
He tried, but he didn't have much luck. He does pack a punch. But landing it in the right place. Ha! I'm not surprised he's got no children. <laughs> I heard that someone was looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? No. But I'm always the last to hear of anything like that. I'll ask Punch. He'd know. Cool. Oh, thank you, Weed. Good day to you, sir. I'm going to feel like I'm going to end up having to whoop all these boys up. The Tanner sent me. He says you've been causing a commotion at night, and I thought I might convince you to stop. Ha! So all his whining finally found a friendly ear, did it? Let me tell you something first, Whelp. Oh. I'm the bailiff's man, and we're not doing anything wrong here. Old Letterman's only been whining like that since he lost a bit of silver. Didn't bother him before that. He told me different. Ha, of course he, of course did, he right? did, Otherwise, no one would help him. Go ahead and ask the lads. They'll tell you the same. It's God's honest truth. I'll take you at your word. But what should I do now? The way I see it, you've got two choices. Screw that old liar and leave him be or get down to business. Down to business. Oh, do I double cross? Ooh. Or there's a third possibility. What would that be? We put one over on that pinch, Penny. I'll tell him I've taken care of everything, and you and your friends don't show up here for a few days. I'll get a reward, and we can split it. And then you can come back later. It's practically free money. <laughs> I like the sound of that tune. <laughs> the devil take the tanner. We'll pull up somewhere else for a few days. And you come and see us once you've got the coin. All right? I'm looking for work, and I've heard someone around here wants fearless men. Do you know anything about it? Hmm. I've heard they might be looking for a new knacker. So if you're not afraid of carcasses and the occasional pile of shite. Thanks, but no thanks. Word has it someone's hiring mercenaries and other fighters. Ah, well, you've heard more than I. No. Oh. If I wanted to join in, what would I have to do? It's pretty simple. First, you have to beat weed. He's that not too dangerous looking fella there. But some nights, he gets a good rest and he's got God on his side. Then you can try one of those three. Doesn't matter which. And if you whip all three, you can test your metal against me. Fair enough. So the last yeah, match is sure. with you. That's right. They say a bout with me is no joke. Just bad humours. <laughs> uh, sure. I want to fight you. What did I tell you? Okay. Can you trade me? I in want to get this fighting. Certainly. I'm interested in. Wouldn't you rather? Le well, cool. I'll think it over. Let's. See you later. Let's start fighting, guys. Huh? Hey, you we. Let's, let's fight. Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's see how I do. Ha 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 Shit, the glass jaw, dude. I just. Oh, one hit. God the one help. hit. Uh, how may Man, I help? that's so awesome. Let's fight. You look pretty good. But I'm betting it was just luck. We'll see. It really was just luck, though. One look punch. Nice. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Ian? I have way more strength than you guys. Get manhandled, boys. Manhandled. This is great. Blessings. Let's fight. That wasn't bad, but let's see how just you gonna do with me. Just give him the old. Somebody's gonna mix it up on me. Oh, you want some? You want some? Oh, okay. 
Keep elbowing and kicking him. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. You want some? Let's go, buddy. That's another win. Yo. You're next, Stump. God grant you health. How many? Let's fight. Let's fight. That wasn't bad. God be with you. Did I get the easy jab on him? Yup. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? How many knees can you take, buddy? Man. Dirty. Alright, Punch. I whooped up on all your boys. I want to fight you. You put on quite a show. Can't say I expected it. Really? I'm a knight in full armor. You didn't expect it? <laughs> this is wrong. I just can't... <laughs> This is wrong, man. I just keep I just keep kneeing him. <laughs> oh man, that was an easy four hundred groschen. How you doing, boys? A little worse for wear. God be with you. That was cool. Don't worry, God Mr. Tanner. You. Good night. What can I do for you? I whipped all their asses and told them to go. I've taken care of the lads who were bothering you. You'll have a quiet evening tonight. God bless you, lad. And here's something for your trouble and kindness. Unlike that miserable bailiff. If anything else grieves you, just say the word. Good luck, then. All right, then. Hey, Punch, I just whipped up on you. Now I pay you. That was pretty good. I didn't think you had it in you. You were really good. I've got to hand it to you. Most lads don't make it past me. So listen, I want to tell you something. What's that? There are people here looking for really tough men. And I'd That's say what we're looking for. We're a tough boy. So when you walk through town this evening, if there's a light in the church, go in and wait a while. If they like the looks of you, they might give you some work. Thanks. Okay. I'll think about it. The gross and I got from old Lederman. I hope he wasn't as tight as a drum. He always struck me that way. Here's your full share. I'm rich. You can That's foul. not half bad. All that messing and fussing paid off. And when do you aim to be back? A day or two. We'll see. That wasn't half. But he thinks it was. Kingdom come, they said it, they said the name. Amen. So, you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? Oh shit. Some ne'er do well men. I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Oh, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? Um. Do I name drop? Dude, and uh, why is it? Why is this tough? No, don't name drop. I don't recall okay. his name, but he was one of your friends. 
He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that, but he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah, not theft. If you want to join us, oh, shit. you have to kill the pliers. Best not to ask too many questions. Who's Pius again? I feel like I, like I should know that name or something. I'll have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys? Mm. It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Well, he would have been dead long since. He's oh, in I gotta the, get uh, inside the monastery? Cluster. Or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest. But it didn't quite work out. Who's pious? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway. Because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us. But he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed mm. a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? You'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. Mm. Do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything huh. he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. Murder someone in a monastery? Have you gone mad? <laughs> Murder's a sin as it is. Doesn't really matter where you do it. Yes, it, it does. does, though. I'd be spilling blood on hallowed ground. <laughs> well then, knock him senseless, drag him outside, and finish him off where it's less sacred. I don't give a damn where you do it, just as long as he ends up dead. Fair enough, I guess. And do you have any other test? We're not hiring stable boys. We want men who are prepared to do anything. And this is the toughest task we've got. So how many men have you already sent? Uh, just a handful. Hmm. And what happened to them? Did they hang? Yeah. Uh, just the first one. The others turned tail. Guess they didn't have the stomach for it. This is like the worst place to be plotting a murder because of the acoustics. Every everything is just so amplified. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well dressed and had a fine looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is, and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? Monk's drink, <laughs> right? Better. There's more wine there than in the royal cellars. And I doubt he's suddenly stopped drinking. Uh, okay, I guess. Fine. I don't know. I feel like... So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister... I feel like there's like a way around it, but I have a feeling like who's joining the committing murder in a monastery oh, isn't going to be like absolved if I fucking figure out him, who's behind all this. <laughs> of course. Well, that's not all. All hell's going to break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, 
or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the Ooh. best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. Simple enough. Well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to run off, alright? God be with you. Oh man, what an undertaking.